Hello and welcome back. Today we are continuing our fascist or fascistista, you know, a la Victoria, uh, UK run here in Victoria 3. Uh, we are doing this, of course, because the petite bourgeoisie is absolutely obscene for them. Now, I don't think this is meta. I don't think fascism is very good, uh, but we're doing it. We're here. We're living it. And how are we living it? We have not researched a single tech actively, except for ones that lead towards political agitation, which, of course, you know, leaves us without water tube boilers. We'll talk about that in a second. Last episode, uh, we caused the potato famine. Perfect. Uh, and so a bunch of migrants started out. And I think this actually is what caused the mass migration. If we like hover over the map, we can see the migration in Ireland is pretty low, but we're also losing immigrants from some of our places that have really high migration attraction as a result of this mass migration event uh, that was triggered here. And I think our potato famine did trigger it, uh, the English to have a mass exodus here towards North Carolina, so we don't like that. Immediately punished for our sins. Um, overall, this run, the eco has felt very sticky. Now, this map is, or this, uh, you know, graph is from 43, uh, because we did have to uh, swap sides earlier to resolve a bug, but, uh, you know, we're in the 1.5 open beta, so it is very buggy. Uh, but, uh, you know, the eco is very sticky, and one of the reasons why is we haven't researched water tube boilers. This would normally be be our first research you can see we have a solid amount of tooling workshops 64 you know steel mills this type of stuff a huge chunk of our economy is just mines and water tube boiler unlocks condensing pump engine uh which gives you uh, an additional 50% output. Now it does increase input, but this would help to make our coal mines more profitable, our tooling workshops more profitable. And so our eco has been kind of basically stalled out from the very start on the back of this. Um, the way we are trying to get out from under this is building more technology spread. We are overbuilding tech more than we would, but unfortunately because we're fascist, we have to go censorship, uh, you know, obviously, uh, and we are suffering <laughs> minus tech spread penalties. So uh, this strategy is going to be even less effective. Uh, but you know you have to live it and so we're going to continue our fascist run we're currently uh, you know spiking a little bit of a war uh, with the kebab uh, we're currently also fighting uh, you know France um, and I know what you're thinking are you are you starting all these wars what are you doing no we're only sticking fingers in pies we only start wars uh, to annex subjects other than that uh, we are just joining wars against other people with reverse sways and you can see we will soon be getting Kanye in a reverse sway here uh, versus them. Uh, Netherlands accepts a trade agreement that we propose in the interim. The hard times? I have a suspicion where this might be. Oh, it's in Togo, not Ireland? Crazy. Uh, we'll take the minus decree cost, though, which will give us enough money to do some more stuff. I think that uh, we might... Well, if decrees are real cheap, we could slap down a couple other decrees, uh, like social mobility or something like that. I mean, social mobility would help us get fascism faster. Uh, never seen a stranger argument for social mobility. Uh, but we'll continue on our way and try and, you know, win this war on Cape Colony. Uh, for the for the France one, we just have a humiliation versus war reps. And we're just going to send a little five stack, dirty five stack over here to take this little snippet of land. And so we should be able to enforce on them. Uh, and they cannot land us very easily uh, unless they want to, you know, brave our 75 stack that's just stationed here at home. You're telling me that we can choose to make Karl Marx more popular? Yeah, baby. Uh, let's take a look at how popular dear Marx is currently loved. He's at the 90 popularity. This will help us to try and, uh, you know, pursue uh, a doubled bonus on the trade unions, which would be quite nice. Uh, and this is kind of one of our aims right now is we are going to try and get four interest groups powerful happy at the same time and the four of our choice which are going to include trade unionists industrialists and petite bourgeoisie and i think the last one will be intelligentsia you can see we've decided to abandon the church uh and also you can see perhaps the best borders ever here uh in uh the middle east now uh because you know the, uh, the ottomans have lebanon uh, we have been swayed over for both Kanya and Adana, which of course are not contiguous because of Egyptian Adana. It's uh, truly the best of timelines here. Uh, I think that someone must have gotten reassigned here uh, because our 15 stack was supposed to be here, but this war is going well. Uh, we can enforce on France, and we just have to sit put because they cannot humiliate us uh, because they can't land us. 
such as not possible when we have a 75 stack defending. And so, uh, you know, things are coming along quite nicely in regards to our pie thumbing. Now we see a Welsh mass migration, which we are much more okay with than the English one. We don't want to be losing English pops, uh, but with this mass migration, I'm expecting this to, uh, you know, flip around and be really negative here in just a second, if they're mass migration, yeah, to Alabama, but we're kind of, we're kind of okay with this, because it, uh, you know, this eventually, you know, uh, this province will be replenished via migration with Englishmen, uh, or pops that can be assimilated into being Englishmen, under our current system, uh, or, well, because it's Welsh homelands here, you can't assimilate Welshmen, so uh, it's better that they go out so that new people can come in and then be assimilated to Welshmen, obviously, or also we uh, managed to get some sort of resolution to this. I'm guessing it was a white piece because both sides were hurting pretty bad, but either way, we got Kanya, so that's good on us, and we are just getting France uh, into the point where they are going to start getting ready. We do not accept that peace deal. Uh, where they're going to be getting ready to, you know, give up because... There's no way for them to really get in here. Uh, that's very easy for them. Uh, and actually, we have enough government admin right now. We're going to kick... We have a few of these in the queue. Uh, we're just going to kick them all to the back of the queue. I mean, we will need them eventually. But it's not... Uh, not a priority right now, so we're just going to kick these to the back of the queue. Um, there also is insufficient, uh, uh, what is it, government admin in those places, but we, we have enough, so we're just going to keep going on. And we're also finishing up, or polishing up, these gold mines, uh, which will be very, very nice in California. Uh, and so... We're, maining, we're managing to maintain this prosperity bonus for 10% construction as well, uh, which has been, uh, up until now, a little bit difficult for us to maintain. We really wish we could get another company, but, you know, uh, we're not researching anything useful, so uh, this is going to be the soup we're swimming in for some time. We tell the Argentinians it's called Fascism, sweetie, and they join our customs union, which is big nice. Belgium's also in, uh, which will also be nice. We can give obligations to some people to pull them in, but we're not really going to avoid it. These guys are too small. It's not worth the influence because we're not playing mean with anyone. We are just doing nice things and not interfering and being mean, so we have no rivals. Uh, and uh, it, we are a little bit crimped on the influence as a result of this. But now, finally, Mendoza will have access. Uh, they didn't have access for the large, longest time. We got them from swaying from Argentina, but now with Argentina in our market, uh, then uh, we should be able to get access to them. And our market's doing, you know, relatively large. Of course, it does occupy New York, as it should. Uh, and we had this, which is the one war we started, the only time we've ever been a little bit mean to anyone ever. Um, eventually, these guys will accept war reps. Um, you know, it's just a matter of time, and they can't humiliate us at all, uh, because we are above reproach, uh, as the fascistista herself uh, reigns on her golden throne. We are really going to need to, def like, depend on natural spread in order to actually get any useful text. You can see here, we are researching shell gun and crystal glass through natural spread, but it is really slow. We already have two 21 stacks, uh, which normally we would probably only build one 21 stack with U the UK at this point in time, but we would actually be researching useful tech normally. And so, uh, instead, what we're going to do is we're going to add another one 21 stack here in Beijing, in case we're going to end up really discriminating very heavily there uh you know this will allow us here uh this 21 stack is going to allow us i mean we're gonna get minus actually you know what we are not incorporating beijing so beijing's a little bit different than uh the other one here so actually let's nix this and have a little bit of a rethink uh, because we had done the same in hey bay maybe we're actually just gonna 31 hey bay and 31 uh london instead and maybe we'll end up 21-ing something later, but this is adding a, roughly the same number of unis, uh, which are going to be getting roughly the same number of throughput, although a little bit more uh, for the universities and the home counties, courtesy of Big Ben here. Uh, so that is pretty nice, and this will help us. You know, we're losing money, but money's not real, especially when you barely pay any interest uh, because of your, you know, unique... Oh, no. We lost our loan interest rate. Terrible.
we'll have to figure something else out. Right now, uh, you know, our ability to pass laws is kind of stalled out, courtesy of these weird uh, blocks, you know, the land of gentry and intelligentsia, uh, and also this block. But hopefully, once we marginalize the land of gentry and the Anglican church, we can get back to passing stuff in a reasonable way. Um, also, way too much cloud on the industrialists here, but um, it is what it is. Uh, you, what is nice, though, is uber high taxes will reduce uh, the attraction of groups in government, and so we'll get less of them, and we've been getting less of industrialists for some time now. Uh, let's just double check and see if we can pull anyone else into the customs union. I mean, eventually we would want to siphon off migrants, but um, we could owe an obligation. Of course, you do have the 1.5 special where Brazil can never finish their civil war, uh, but it is what it is. We are not at war for the first time in a long time, uh, you know, keeping all these rowdy children in line. And so, uh, I do think we can confederate and, yeah, federate. So, uh, this will merge, God Save the Queen, uh, Columbia District, and Nova Scotia. Does it, though? Wait, what? Columbia District? That is the most cursed merging I've ever seen. So now that's Columbia District? Alright then, fair enough. You know, reasonable borders. Uh, we do have a fascist in charge. And then we'll also federate Australia here. Which will give us, uh, you know, a little bit more. It'll be easier for us to annex these guys down the line. Uh, and now we can also engage in some pie thumbing. We are very reputable, of course. Everyone trusts us. And so we can reduce autonomy for some boyos. Not for the true shield states. Uh, they are not a protectorate, and we will not interfere with them. But how about reducing autonomy in Norway? Uh, let's find someone who will actually accept our demands, though. Um, this seems a little bit more uh, appropriate. I don't think we actually have very many protectorates, is one of the problems here. Uh, we can hover this and kind of get an idea. We have a dominion with the Ionian Islands and the dominion with the EIC. That'll take a ton of infamy, though. Uh, Dominion with the True Shield States, but we already checked them. Uh, Protectorate with Mosquito Kingdom, uh, United Tribes, uh, and Lahej. So Lahej and uh, Mosquito Kingdom are very going to be very likely to accept. So we will reduce autonomy here. They will accept. Uh, and then we will wait a beat and reduce autonomy here. They will accept. And then we will reduce autonomy here. And they will maybe accept, and if they don't, we, uh, yeah, they have, oh, what is this? They should have accepted. Oh, well, we'll let them know who's in charge here. The Prussians side against us? How dare they stick their finger in our pie? Uh, but certainly understandable that they want, uh, you know, Hanover in Brunswick. Uh, so we get what's going on, uh, but now this gives us an opportunity to add war goals on Prussia. Uh, like, maybe making people a little bit more free. Maybe something like this. We do not have an opportunity to sway anyone, unfortunately, for whatever reason, Austria. Oh, they have a truce with Great Britain. But they should be able to join our side if they have a truce with us, no? That seems a little silly. Uh, it's that they shouldn't be able to join- Oh, it's because this is our subject? Yeah, that's silly. We should be able to sway people, but they can't join because our subject- they can't join uh, against our subject while they have a truce with us. That's funny, though. So I think we're going to look to wear them down by just defending on these two fronts uh, until uh, Norway is secured, which we are landing with our Chinese army. Uh, that should go fairly well. Uh, but then, yeah, we're just looking to, you know, secure... Uh, just defend here. Now, I mean, British, or is this Hanover? Hanover didn't get the memo. They're trying to push. But if we just defend, we should be able to, you know, wear down their morale for a little bit and then switch to pushing, uh, you know, when the time comes. Uh, also, we kicked some of these unis in the home counties up to the front of the queue, really trying to start getting some of these. Hmm. Do we want these guys to see? The problem with the petite bourgeoisie and the, the trade unions being together is they won't be able to gain... Uh, we'll, we're going to boost them, but they're not going to be able to gain much traction. Or we're not going to be able to put them in government uh, with, uh, you know, the, the industrialists, unfortunately, because the trade unions are inconsistent. But we see we have finally marginalized the land gentry, and we are getting close to marginalizing... The Anglican Church, and we are going uh, total separation here as well, uh, which will help out, uh, you know, with discrimination. 
We might discriminate anyways, but we're in a weird spot, and I think we do want to use the Intelligentsia party because we want to get Freud. Uh, if getting Freud becomes impossible, though, maybe we'll change our strategy, uh, looking for a little bit of a multicultural, uh, you know, it's the people of the world uh, nationalism. I mean, if the sun never sets on our empire, maybe that makes sense. But perhaps it doesn't. We'll do a little bit of diplomatic tour, I think. Ripper new vi victims. Yeah, you know, you love to see it. Uh, so we'll get rid of uh, one of our consumption taxes here. It's not like... We have several really not very efficient ones in. And in fact, we should actually even think about... Maybe we... Maybe we want to rethink some of our decrees, too. Let's see. Violent suppression in Hay Bay. We are still constructing a little bit in Hay Bay, but as it gets incorporated, uh, this will be less of a problem. There's only 15% negative state construction efficiency, but it'd be quite a lot larger without this violent suppression. So I think we'll just keep it down for now. Uh, but as soon as it gets incorporated, we'll probably want to use the railway company uh, there. But yeah, this war will just kind of proceed, hopefully... Uh, in an uneventful fashion, and we will release Pomerania. We are at a critical moment here in our nation's history because we are about to research crystal glass with natural spread. And so the question is, is are we going to roll something nice, like water tube boiler, or are we going to get fractional distillation? Um, let's find out. Uh, there's just a little bit of time left, and we will decide, we will see the fate, whether we are Cursed Unlucky, or Big Chad Chatterson, uh, you know, the fascistista herself. And what Natch spreads? Come on, come on, come on, hit me with it. Hit me with it. Fractional Distillation. So it looks like, uh... <laughs> The U.S. is demanding that we return to York. We're just going to say, no way, bro. Uh, and they started Diplo play against us. Unfortunately, this is not looking too well, mainly because of the bug that unassigned uh, our 75 stack from this front uh, and then uh, also bricked it, which forced us to merge with the 8th Army. This was formerly the 6th Army. Uh, now it's the 8th Army. Uh, and uh, this caused some problems. Uh, and so what we are going to try and do is we're going to try and land Pomeranian and maybe get a white piece or something or maybe we can even enforce oh I guess we could just enforce I guess they just they don't want any of this heat I guess uh, or maybe we managed to push them off of Brunswick. Maybe this is what happened. Uh, we did kind of throw the entire bag at trying to make sure we could defend here. And so we're going to get war reps and uh, get them out of Brunswick here. Uh, and also, of course, we succeeded in enforcing on Norway. So, man, Prussia's not looking too good, are they? Uh, we are will get everything in place uh, for this war with the U.S., though, uh, which is coming. And they declared they started it. Uh... And they have a lot of war goals here. Uh, but we'll finish it, and we'll put some war goals on them. Probably taking Pennsylvania as we look to unmanifest their destiny by removing their access to the coast. Unbelievable that the U.S. thought that they could be somebody. You know, you can't just talk about it, you gotta be about it. And they've been about getting clapped and having their apple pie sunk in with deep fingers this entire run. Uh, but I'm delighted by the sways that we can do here, because we can transfer our subject... Uh, in order to get the EIC on in this, we could transfer Mosquito Kingdom, which is an absolutely delightful transfer, because not only do we not care, because this is absolutely tiny, uh, when we eventually annex the EIC, we'll just get it back as our subject. So this is basically a no-cost sway, uh, and we'll help to turn the balance in our favor a little bit. Uh, you know, uh, they do have a really strong mobilization overall, so this might actually be a little bit of a grim war. Uh, we assigned everyone to fronts. Uh, we're probably not going to assign any sort of war goals on Russia uh, with the hopes that they mobilize a little bit less and instead just try and put a lot in on the USA. Another thing that 1.5 has done uh, that is a little bit different is it doesn't seem like you can liberate anywhere near what you used to be able to liberate, uh, you know, in terms of countries, um, which uh, is probably a good thing. We could ban slavery in the US. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get rid of slavery here. And also, uh, liberate the Cherokee, the proud Cherokee people. We are finally actively researching political agitation, uh, you know, which is what we started researching at the very start of the game, or researching towards, uh, and it, we still do not have, of course, our dear friend, 
the tech we would have started with if we were reasonable water to boiler. Our car armies couldn't get to New York in time to man all of the fronts, and so we quickly lost New York, and so now what we will have to do is we will have to merge the armies, which will take another amount of time, in order to de-brick our largest army. And so, uh, already off to a really horrible, horrific, terrible, no good, bad start, uh, because like we would have much rather, we should have put our biggest stack here. Uh, instead of defending New York, I guess, uh, maybe would have been the strategy. Uh, but we got other fronts coming in, and maybe we can do something, and we'll, I suppose, land uh, New York, uh, or try to. Looks like Rush is starting a naval landing here. I wonder how big a stack they're sending. The Navy is 21 stack, and we have a 15 stack army defending. I think that'll be sufficient, but, um, you know, we'll see, and we'll try and re-land here in New York. All right, so here, China's in a bit of an existential revolution. We've agreed to help the old powers that be in exchange for Outer Manchuria, except we lied, and we're not going to help them at all. Uh, we're just going to take the bag and run, take our, you know, awesome state in the form of Outer Manchuria, uh, you know, which is uh, got coal, iron, a ton of wood, and also, you know, gold mines. So big nice on Outer Manchuria. As far as this war goes, I don't really know how I feel about it. We had to move... Uh, this guy all the way over to like uh the congo in order to uh merge with another army to deep brick them uh and you know now we're trying to re-land over here i think we might just need to stick an army <sighs> like our armies moved so slow to get over here uh which is why we kind of lost new york immediately but then like the guy who's there just gets auto bricked and like we have to send them because this army got there um you know we just have to send them all the way back uh definitely does not feel good definitely feels a little bit buggy i think we could still win this war though uh given that russia's you know trying to invade here uh and that seems to be all they're doing you know they let us occupy alaska um and so maybe if we reland new york uh we can manage to get something done while we also simultaneously do the very difficult task of abandoning the chinese so the naval invasion kind of like before just auto fails uh you know with no uh no single battle having occurred so we're gonna try and maybe we can land uh you know just next to new york in Connecticut and try this uh, it'll only take 10 days and so then maybe we can push New York but already this is a bit of an annoying like bug obviously where we cannot re we can't reland New York for whatever reason uh, we're gonna designate it as the strategic objective and so maybe we'll be able to land and push New York in like the time necessary uh, and the Chinese aristocratic revolt has broken out and so of course we have been given outer Manchuria and we will promptly um, you know, say bye-bye. Thank you. Uh, now, Russia will probably assign to this front and occupy this, but that's really not our problem, except it also is our problem. So, um, we could get war reps enforced on us, but they want return New York uh, regime change. Actually, do they need to occupy our capital for those? No. Wait, why can they regime change them without... Why can we be reinforced below zero? on a humiliate when they want return New York. Doesn't this normally require control of the capital? Very strange. Um, but we're gonna try and get in here. Okay, so our 65 stack does get in, and hopefully they can push New York and liberate New York here, um, as well as, you know, we push from the north to try and get New York. Uh, we also are pushing from over here, uh, and it does not appear to be the case that, uh, who's this guy? Reformer? Eh. He should resign immediately, or... Eh, we can have him resign immediately. I mean, we already have so much clout on the industrialists here, it's insane, so... We could also reduce taxes a tick uh, to kick us over the legitimacy tier here. Okay, we've managed to stabilize uh, here, and it looks like we are going to be enforcing on them in relatively short order, kind of independent of what happens. Um, good luck to China, though. You know, good luck. Don't know how they're going to pull this one out. Uh, best of wishes, uh, you know, thoughts and prayers, etc. Mostly etc. So we started passing mercantilism here uh, because I felt that, you know, we needed to do the mercantilism in order to empower the petite bourgeoisie. But they're doing pretty good at 15.5% right now. Um, and so 
I think that we might just leave them in and just try and bolster them and this sort of thing. Also, we lost their bonus because they don't like mercantilism. So we're going to actually cancel this. Uh, we didn't mean it. Uh, and now they should return to, uh, you know, being happy with enough with us. Uh, or that they're not happy enough with us. So we will have to ditch a couple of these. Uh, we're going to just get rid of a couple of these suppresses. And hope that they, they see the light again. Um, maybe we can pass something that they would like. Uh, I don't think they would like free trade. Yeah, no, they like protectionism. So that's fine and well. Um, trade unions would like that, but we don't like that. Uh, and we can now also, we finally researched pharmaceuticals from natural spread, so we could go uh, on to, you know, private health insurance, uh, which would be nice because we don't really want the other thing, but uh, I think we would also prefer public health, uh, you know, institutions, but maybe private health institutions will be better if we're going to go ethnostate discriminatory. That way, uh, the people who are benefiting are the people of our culture, something like this. Um, we could just leave it for now and just kind of twiddle our thumbs a little bit. Um, you know, it's a bit difficult to find law passes that we want, uh, you know, mainly because we have most of our stuff in. I guess maybe, do we want commercialized agriculture? I mean, we can't pass it yet. Damn, damn, damn. Maybe we just hang out, just chill for a little bit, uh, let these guys, uh, you know, stew and come back to us. We could also just do this and then they would come back to us, wouldn't they? Yeah, then they just come back to us. Do we even have to... Is it really giving four approval? What the hell? It's supposed to just give one. Do they dip now? Nope, they stay. So we now have a little bit of authority to work with, uh, so we might just re-put in uh, the suppress on the landowners. I'm not sure we're going to need it on the church guys anymore. And then a bolster on the petite bourgeoisie seems in order. Uh, because if we can get them above 20% of which they're close, that'll be really nice. I mean, maybe mercantilism would have been the thing to like push them across the edge. It's kind of weird that they don't like it when it actually helps out their clout quite a bit. We'll see if we can sway here. Eh, I don't think we want to get involved in this Netherlands thing while we are currently, you know, pretty, pretty into this. And, like, it takes a long time for troops to, like, wrap around. Like, they are having to come in from Canada up here, and that is a bit of a struggle. And so we are, like, it's difficult for us to try and address this situation, right? Where we have a huge advantage here, and then this, we're just going to get pushed. Uh, but, um... You know, I, I overall do like the, the fact that it takes forever for troops to move now uh, through, like, difficult terrain and to reach, like, weird spots. So it took forever for troops to get over here uh, in the first place. But, like, it looks like we're comfortably pushing, and we also will be starting a landing soon on the USA. Well, it looks like we're going to get everything we ever wanted. Also, notably, once we put in Lib Cherokee, then Liberate New England became available. So it might just be the case that just the first option is available, and then the next option, and then the next. This has has to be a bug, uh, I'm assuming, but uh, I've just seen it a few times with Liberate Mongolia, and I was assuming uh, they made it so you couldn't liberate something that shared a primary culture, so you couldn't liberate Han uh, countries from Qing or something like this, uh, but we are about to enforce here on the USA and liberate New England and the other stuff, and so we see New England has been liberated, good stuff, and we also acquire Pennsylvania. Now, Pennsylvania is actually an interesting one, a very interesting one. See, we like Bocklau, Vaughn and Co. Great company. It's giving us, uh, you know, the uh, this bonus though, the shipyards and military shipyards, meh, it's okay. But it's really about the steel, coal and iron. However, however, uh, there is another company for another ring was forged. Deep in the fires of Pennsylvania, uh, there was another company one with malice, hate, and the desire to crush out the common man. Uh, the company's name... The company's name was the Carnegie Steel Company, which is very much the same company. You need Pennsylvania to get it. We have Pennsylvania. And railway building throughput is way better than military uh, shipyards throughput. And so we'll be swapping over to the Carnegie Steel Company as soon as we uh, are eligible, which means we are going to have to have state region as Pennsylvania. Hey, hey, we got it. Uh, building uh, steel mills greater than level 10, and we do have to have it be incorporated. So we will start incorporating, and we will also uh, swap them over to our PMs as well, uh, you know, as it were, uh, reset production methods, and then we will crank up the steel here, 
uh, you know, in a little bit, they're not incorporated yet, so we don't have to worry about it yet. Uh, maybe we put in, like, auto-expand on, you know, this stuff. Uh, of course, us incorporating it is giving clout to non, uh, you know, Englishmen. Yuck. Uh, but, uh, I, I, I hope... I hope that our dear petite bourgeoisie can forgive us. They're looking in pretty good shape, so I'm hoping this works. Uh, but yeah, getting them to stay strong might be a little bit hard, um, especially if we try and go multiculturalism later. Uh, it's going to be tough. Like, I really wish there was a mechanic in game that allowed for a non-zero amount of migration, even like 10%, um, if people are discriminated. But currently, uh, you get zero migration, so we would quickly run out of labor if we went ethnostate is the real problem. We might still go ethnostate, you know? We gotta ask, we gotta ask the fascistista what we should do. Hey, it said Federate Australia was completed, and now we have the good old Australian tag. I don't know why South Australia is not in there, uh, but I think we are going to have to reduce these boys' autonomy. You know, let them know uh, that they're not... Just because they're Australia doesn't mean they're free. We're, we're fascist, baby. Uh, and so these are uh, low enough autonomy that we could just annex them straight up. I do think we have a reasonably high amount of... Yeah, we do have a high amount of infamy. Uh, courtesy of, of course, uh, taking Pennsylvania. You don't say that that's gonna cost a lot. I think we can reduce autonomy here, though. They will accept, or which will allow us to go after their very tasty taste of oil later. Uh, but now, I think we're actually gonna conclude the episode. This episode, uh, the USIA tried to be somebody, and uh, they got promptly smacked down. We are so, so, so close close to demanifesting their destiny. I think that what we're going to do is we're going to take Maryland, or actually we're probably going to take West Virginia because it's better, West Virginia, Virginia, and North Carolina, and thus really, really unmanifest the USA's destiny. Uh, getting these guys in the customs union would be nice. I don't really want to give them an obligation because I don't want to be stuck into or we don't want to be stuck in a defensive pact or an alliance. Um, and so, but we can bankroll them. It's very, very cheap. And look them to get them into the customs union that way. Uh, but having Pennsylvania is also just going to be super, super nice. I wonder where the migrants are coming from. Newfoundland, New South Wales, South Australia, uh, Ulster. We saw, yeah, the Irish who are starving. You know, if we look at the attraction here, uh, it's unfortunate that this isn't red. Because we do want them to leave. Uh, that way we can convert them. Because once they're... <laughs> they, they despicably hate the English while they're here. And will never convert to being English. Uh, but once they get over here... Then they'll convert to being English, uh, which is, you know, delightful, uh, because this is no longer homeland for them. So if the, if the Irish come here, we don't mind them anymore because they will become English, <laughs> but they won't become English when they're here. And so that's why we are trying to evict them at this current point in time. Economy, very, very, very sluggish. Uh, just also want to emphasize, uh, you know, as we're kind of concluding this episode here, uh, we want nothing more. Oh, actually, we can't leave it like this. We can't leave it like this. We gotta play a little bit longer. Because, you know, we need... Actually, no, we'll save that for the next episode. We need to know what we're gonna get. We can roll one of four things after we finish Fractional Distillation. And we still want Water Tube Boiler. This is uh, insane. This is the latest I've ever gone in a run without getting Water Tube Boiler, I think. I think I got a Water Tube Boiler faster in the Sokoto run, so... Yeah. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Do the YouTube algorithm stuff. And other than that, have a good day.